Apple broke three trillion dollars. Is this an indicator by itself? I'm asking all of us a question. Because if the market is so dire, so horrible, so bad, how could this guy break three trillion? Right? And how could so many stocks hit hitting 52 weeks high? So what is the actual meaning of three trillion? I invite you to go to finance.yahoo.com and look for Apple. So you see with your own eyes, right there. Dang, dang. Today is $3 trillion. Right there. $3 trillion. See it for yourself. <laughs> because this is the first company in the world that broke $3 trillion. And while it just broke $3 trillion, we are not satisfied because we say it should be the next company to break $5 trillion. So is there any... Valley grounds for that, and here we go. This is the one that will prepare us for that five trillion. Apple will become five trillion dollar company in 2030. We are seven years away from that. I think it's going to come to pass because they are number one financial engineering experts. They keep doing stocks buyback, the biggest in the world. Number two. They are still selling the same bloody product, <laughs> just version 1, 2, 3, all the way to 12, 13, 14, 15. <laughs> same product. No change. All right? So they are very risk averse. Just make sure they just do a little bit better, a little bit better, and sell more, and sell more, and sell more. Open up new markets like India. So that's been their strategy, right? So if you look at this article, we, we, you can go and digest it yourself. I want to bring out to you the key points. And the key points is found here. Apple's latest results for the second quarter and the first April suggest that the company isn't going to run out of steam anytime soon. It's on track to potentially hit a market cap of $5 trillion by the end of the decade. Let's look at the reasons. Number, number one, the first catalyst. And the iPhone was Apple's biggest source of revenue. What's most impressive is the iPhone revenue headed higher even though global smartphone shipments fell 14.6% year on year in the first fiscal 2023. What's more, the market research firm points out that Apple's shipments declined by 2.3%. However, Apple's relatively small drop compared to overall smartphone markets decline helped it increase its share of the global market to 20.5%. Everybody draw, but this guy can increase the share. That means they have perfected their supply chain. It's a very high barrier to entry. The competitors can't do what they do. So because the competitors can't do what they do, the guy can go up. So this is like, really crazy, right? If you look at just this paragraph alone and say, wow, how the heck? Actually, the bigger they are, they share more problems, right? But yet, they have lesser problems. This is, this is the beauty of it, that they are ready for that growth. And of course, you go down right here. Holy moly. The focus on emerging markets. They could help it significantly increase iPhone revenue over the next seven years. CFO Luca Mastri remarked on the company's latest conference call that the iPhone reached a much quarter revenue record. <laughs> Thanks to very strong performance in emerging markets from South Asia, India, Latin America, and Middle East. This is big. Again, these are the catalysts that we're looking at and you know, um, why the company would be worth five trillions by 2030. They put out their arguments right here. And I want encourage you to go and read this article, but I think I pick out all the important things already.